So you wanna learn about drum bounce? <laughs> well, you clicked on the right video. So today I'm gonna be showing you all five ways to take your drum bounce to the next level. I'm gonna break down some beats that I already made and explain what I did to achieve the drum bounce for them. I'm gonna also make a drum pattern from scratch to give you guys some tips and gems and walk y'all through my process. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, y'all, so the first step is going to be rhythm. I would say that this is very important. Obviously, you wanna make sure that your drums have like a nice vibe to it, nice rhythm to it. I would say that the main sound, drum sound, would be the hi-hat. Uh, in this case, this is the beat that I got right here. And you could tell right now that the two uh, sound drum sounds that's given the beat rhythm would be the 808 and the uh, hi-hat. Just complement each other. As y'all can see, this is just a consistent hi-hat, just hitting two step, but I have some rolls that just lead into like other drum sounds that we're gonna dive deeper into. Uh, but as you guys can see, just a nice two step. Give out a nice consistent 808. But yeah, that would obviously be step one. All right, y'all. So step two is going to be messing around with the velocity, the panning, and then also leveling your drums. You want to make sure that they hit hard. So to give you all some examples, obviously for this 808 pattern, as you guys can see, I have some notes right here where I turned the velocity all the way down to where it stops the 808 actually. So instead of the 808 hitting like this, which is cool, I messed with the velocity and I stopped it. And shout out to Jackie, because Jackie put me on game about this. I just noticed he does this. It just stops it right before the next one hits and that just helps it hit even harder. So if you listen, versus this, it's cool, but this sounds better. Just like that it just hits way harder and then also with this over here you can see that i rolled this 808 into the snare right here on the three and then these two high notes i have hitting a little bit lower and then i have a slide note and then i have it stop right here so if you guys listen to this real subtle versus if i would have had the velocity hit super hard for everything see what i'm talking about versus this that's way better and then also for my hi-hats over here i put the velocity down for this one right here velocity is down for these over here too also this one and then for this roll over here at the end i have it rolled down so that way it leads into this one if you listen carefully and then i have some hi-hats at the bottom here that I turn the velocity down this one goes down and I also met mess with the pitch a little bit just to kind of create some variety within it I just pitched it down did a little pitch slide or whatever so that's just a cool little effect that you can do and then obviously you want to make sure that your drums are hitting hard which would be leveling uh, your sounds so I'm really gonna give you all some gems right now you want to make sure that your 808 is on 0 DB right at 0 a little bit over it Put a fruity soft clipper on your master, and this really just makes sure it doesn't clip. It just helps it hit hard. And then have your rim shot, clap, or snare, or whatever's hidden on the three. Have this hit right below like three dB right here. So right above sits, but right below like three is like the sweet spot is what I usually keep it on. For your hi-hat, I have mine hitting right now at a little bit over six, negative six dB. And then for your open hats, you want to have it around the same. It really doesn't matter, like, as long as, like, your 808s or, like, your snares are hitting hard and your hi-hats are up, you want to have, like, your percussion and everything over your loop. You don't want to have, like, your loop louder than, like, your drum sounds. I want to make any sense. It's not going to hit. Like, your drums are what creates rhythm, creates, like, like that vibe that makes your body want to move. And, like, you know, the shorties, you know, shake some. Panning also helps a lot, but in this case, I really didn't pan any of my sounds uh, within like the channel rack over here or like down here. So yeah, so for step two, you wanna make sure that you mess with the velocity a little bit, the panning, and then also leveling. You wanna make sure your drums hit hard. Don't be scared to let your drums clip. Remember y'all, if your drums ain't clipping, they ain't hitting. Remember that. I'd rather have the room shaking and that shit clipping to where they gotta be like, yo, turn it down. Then the audio engineer plays like my weak ass hitting drums for like little baby and that shit ain't hitting. Like that's like doo, 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 versus like doo, doo, doo. you know what I'm saying? 
but yeah so that's step two for step three to help create bounce within your drums i would say shorten slash like hold the envelope so shorten your notes and this is what i do in like literally all of my beats now is i'll go ahead and like hold the envelope for my sounds like especially my open hats so as y'all can see i have this note held and this just stops on commands so that way whenever it's in the mixer track it just stops wherever i want it as y'all can see right here it stops over here and it stops right there whenever i have that perk come in all right y'all so step four what you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is like move your grunt drums off of the grid a little bit this is basically humanizing them uh, how you can do this is messing with this little shift knob over here and moving it around like 15% is where I keep mine usually. And what this does is just moves them off the grid, just creates a humanized feeling and just helps create bounce in your drums. I do this in majority of all of like my R&B uh, beats. So this is what we got right here. And it's not that noticeable, but it's really just a feeling that it creates within your drums. Uh, this is super useful. Uh, but yeah, that's step four. All right, y'all. So for step five, I would say using percussion loops is an extremely good way to give your beats a different ear candy, like unique left field type of vibe to them. Uh, I do this in a lot of like my beats that I make now. I create like percussion loops within them myself or I'll use some that I already made. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and make a beat, give you guys an example of it, and really kind of show you guys how you can go about doing that. All right, y'all, so I'm going to be using my hi-hat kit, the Vibes Effect Volume 1, available on DroneFi.com if you guys want to check that out. I'm going to be using this loop called Living Wild that I made. Crazy. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is send this to the Mitsu channel. Blah, blah, blah. Take out the fruity limiter. Don't use no fruity limiter. Um, go here and put on a fruity soft clipper. And then I'm gonna go over to my celestial drum kit. And I'm just gonna get some drum sounds. For this, I'm already filling a rim. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this on the three. Right there, as usual. Just some typical rap bounce. Turn this up. Send this to the Mr. channel. Put it on negative three dB. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a hi-hat. All right, so I'm gonna use one of these middies. I want something more simple. That's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and place a little note right here on the rim. Uh, and I'm just turn the velocity all the way down to where it stops it. So that way it does this. It stops the 808 and then it leads into the next one. That just helps create some bounce. So without it, with it, it sounds way better. And then I'm going to place another one right here. And that just stops it whenever it leads into the next one. Like I said in one of the steps with messing with the velocities. All right, so this is a nice little bounce that we got going on now. I'm going to go ahead and go to the hi-hat, go to the wrench tool, go to the shift knob and move it up just a little bit. Because I don't want to shift all of our notes. I just want to shift the hi-hat off the grid a little bit to help create some bounce. Add a little hi-hat. I'm going to put a hi-hat on the two. But I'm going to go ahead and shorten it a little bit to where it stops right before this next one hits. This is just something that I do in a lot of my beats. Go to the hold, go to the envelope, and I'm going to go ahead and hold it. So turn down the attack, turn up the hold, turn down the decay. This is... The sustain and the release. Now we got this. Take out these. I'm gonna go ahead and pan this to the left, pan hi hat to the right a little bit. So what I did right here was right after the rim shot, I added a little snare just to just helps to create some bounce. We have another rim right here to create some bounce as well. So, and then right here to create some variety to switch it up from over here because there's nothing hitting right here. I have another little snare right here, but I pitched it down 200 cents. Got this. That just, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the panning right here. Pan this to the left, pan this to the right. Very subtle. And then bam, we got this. 
So what I'm going to go ahead and do is make a percussion loop within this drum pattern that I already got. Something subtle to just complement the rest of the drums. I'm going to be showing you guys how I usually go about doing that. And I'm also going to guys like how to do it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go out over to the BWV Volume 9 kit. And I just go into the perks and I just use some of the sounds that are already in here. So I'm going to go into the audio editor. Make sure it's in key. It is in A sharp. Our loop is in the key of E. So we're going to have it hit on E. So very subtle tucked in the back I'm gonna go ahead and pan it to the left a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and place a hold on this right here I'm gonna add like a very consistent open hat in the background, so but it's gonna be very subtle. I'm gonna just go ahead and pan this first one to the left a little bit. I'm just change this to a more subtle open hat. I'm gonna take out this one right here. how you can't really notice it but you can look you can feel it a little bit without it with it so yeah this sounds pretty full So yeah, that was five ways to create balance within your drums. I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, at Chase Vibes. Make sure to get the Vibes Effect Hi-Hat Sound Kits, Volume 1 and 2 on Drumify.com if you guys want to support me. I love y'all a lot. I appreciate it as always. And I'm out. Hey, hold up, Chase.